All right, in this video, we're going to go through and we're going to use Trade Miner to identify a couple of stocks for us to take a look at at this time of year. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come up here to the prompt and we're going to read that. Step one, it says search for trends in the, we can use symbol, but I'm going to use month and we're going to come in and we're going to say in the month of September because we're mid-September right now and we want to see what we want to trade going into the end of September, maybe the first of October. We're going to find trends that have won at least 80% of the time and we're going to just go bullish. We could do some bearish and actually we, look, why not? Let's look at some bearish markets. The market's been pretty bearish lately. See if there's not some bearish opportunities. So we're going to list trends that will last at least 10 trading days, but no more than 30 trading days. We're going to find at least 10 years of history. So at least 10 years. So that means they can go longer. It just can't go shorter than 10 years. And then we're going to remove the same symbol duplicate start dates and remove the same symbol overlapping trade dates. So we're going to go ahead and hit search. Now this is an AI system, artificial intelligence. It goes out and it searches the entire stock market. Now right now I've got it set to just search the S&P 500. We can expand that and make that go out and search different sectors and different regions of the, of the stock market. But for right now, we're just doing the S&P 500. We're going to look through the S&P and see if there's not something that's coming up on our radar that we want to might take a look at for this particular time of year. All right. So what we've got here is we've got a list of our stocks that just come in. And as you can see, they are sorted by, let's sort them, make sure we're sorted by the date. And since it is now September 14th, we're going to slide down to September 14th and we're going to see what we've got going in here. September 14th, we've got bearish, 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 bearish. We got a whole bunch of bearish markets in the green. So it looks like a bearish time of year. We kind of knew that, right? We know that the market's been bearish right now. Let's slide forward and see if there's not anything else in here. Um, coming up. This is September 19th, and so that's next Tuesday. We've got some uh, bearish, 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 and uh, there's more bearish markets. Okay, we got more, more bearish markets. So let's go ahead and let's select all these. We're going to come in and I'm going to select all these. We're going to add those to step two, so you can see those are added in. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add these in as well. We might as well, right? They're next week. They're still close enough that we can take a look at them. And then we're going to come down here. What about these? These are bearish, 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 bearish as well. Boy, we're getting a lot of bearish stuff this time of year. September 20th. So that's coming up. Uh, that's a little far out. That's next Wednesday. I guess we could take some of those. We'll probably, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll add those to step two. Those are all on starting September 20th. And that's probably good enough. Let's go there. Let's come into our neural network. Now, this is the neural network. And the neural network scans and compares upcoming opportunities with 15 trading days until the beginning of the date against the historical trends. Now, of course, it's going to be more accurate the closer we get to the date that they take off. So um, 15 is as far out as we can go. Market cycles to calculate this year's probability of success. No, the closer to the entry date, the more reliable, but you will have to have fewer results. So I'm going to go ahead. This is going to take a minute. All right. This takes a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to hit calculate on this for now and we're going to get this started and I will pause the video and I'll come back to you when these are all done. So just to give you an idea of what this is doing is it's creating a fingerprint for this year's market, for the current market. It's looking at the current market prices and it's creating a fingerprint. And then what it's doing is it's looking at that fingerprint this year to see if it relates to all the fingerprints of the past years during this time frame to see if this fingerprint looks like winning years or losing years. And so that's what it's doing. It's creating fingerprints. And so it's looking at the current markets, then comparing it to last to to previous years. OK, it's done. It just finished. And as you can see, it comes in here with our probabilities. We're sorted by probability. So we have highs, mediums, lows and very lows. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the top three out of this list, the top three highs. They are September 14th. Now, let's see, we've got another 14th here. So this one starts earlier. So let's take that one instead of one of these 20s. This is a lower one. So let's, I just want to do three for you. You can get your trade miner out and you can do the rest of these yourself. You can see the list. You can go look at them. But these are the three we're going to take over and we're going to add to the pick list. So now we're going to come over to the portfolio side and we're going to look at the pick list. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the artificial intelligence, we're going to ask trade miner to go in and analyze these three markets against each other. You can see two of them are in the healthcare, one's in energy. All three of them are bearish. And they're saying that we should take short positions this time of year on these markets. 
And what we're seeing is that on the first one, let's sort these by score. And so the highest score is 4.57, has a probability of high being bearish. The symbol is COO Cooper Companies. Uh, starts on September 20th, ends on October 10th. 83% of the time over the last 12 years, 21 calendar days, it's returned 5%. Okay. And again, it's in the healthcare industry. The second one is BAX, Baxter International. Baxter International scored a 4.56. Now remember, 5 is the max you can have. And it is bearish. Baxter International starts September 14th and ends on October 13th, 80% of the time over the last 10 years. Uh, 30 calendar days, it's returned a 4% return in those 30 days. So the next one is a 3.47 uh, score. It's bearish. It's WMB, Williams Costs, Inc., the Williams Costs, Inc. Company. September 14th starts September 28th, 80% of the time over the last 15 years. It's returned a 4% uh, return during that time frame. It's an oil and gas company. All right, so oil and gas is going through the roof right now. I mean, gas here is almost five dollars a gallon. So how do you, how do you make people happy to pay four dollars a gallon in gas? Run it up to five dollars a gallon. They'll be real happy to pay four dollars a gallon for gas. That's how you do that. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to have the AI system once again in Trade Miner come in and I'm going to have it select for us or from this pick list. I wanted to tell us. Tell me which one it thinks is number one, and then number two, and then number three. I would like to be in no more than, and I'm going to change this all the way down to one. One trade total. Therefore, based on my current portfolio, I'm able to add up to one additional trades. I would like to add one trade right now. When auto-selecting trades for your portfolio, only include trades where the probabilities have been calculated. We're going to say yes. doesn't matter because they're all been calculated. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to say auto-select. And the AI system says this is its favorite. Now, this is starting September 14th, which is today. And so it says that this has a high probability of being bearish. This is the Williams Company, WMB, bearish, wins 80% of the time over the last 15 years. Calendar day is 15. So over the next 15 years, we're going to anticipate this market falling in price. All right. That's what it's done 80% of the time over the last 15 years. And that's what we're going off of. All right, so let's go ahead and tell we want to find out what our second favorite is. So we go ahead and say second favorite. And the second favorite is Cooper Company. So Cooper Company, 4.57 probability high bearish September 20th. So that doesn't start till September 20th. And uh, we'll keep that one on, on ice for right now. We're going to go auto select. Actually, I have to tell it that I want three. And the last one we're going to put down in the portfolio of course, is Baxter International. That one starts today, October 13th, 80% of the time. Actually, I mean, September 14th ends on the close at October 13th, 80% of the time over the last 10 years. This market has returned 4%. All right, let's go look at these. We're going to pull these three markets up in track and trade, and we're going to do a little bit of analysis. So give me one second, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's go through and analyze this chart now. What we're looking at here, this is the first one in the list. It's Baxter, so Baxter International. And Baxter, we said that Baxter was going to start on September 14th through October 13th. So September 14th is today, and it says it's supposed to be bearish. So this looks bullish to me. <laughs> looks like it's been bearish. And uh, now it's saying that it's going to continue that downtrend. We may get a little pullback into the into the um, what it looks like to me is we might get a little pullback into the ABC pattern and then the next drop down that's what we're going to anticipate we might get a little drawdown in this one which is it was it isn't uncommon if I bring this over you can see that these little uh, candlestick patterns show you the little drawdowns down in here so we do have little drawdowns on a lot of the gears small drawdowns this one here was a bad drawdown and then there's this one here actually had a big drawdown and then turned around and 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 turned very profitable this doesn't mean that it went up. This means that it had profitable after a profitable period after a drawdown. So we could see the same thing in here. We could get a, a, a little rally off of this. And then it's, it's saying that we should get the, another blow off here. So let's look for this market to come in. And the way we'll trade that is we'll watch for it to come up, give us that little rebound. And when it breaks, it starts to fall. We can take a short position. Either we can short the market or we can buy a put option. And so we'll do that as soon as it goes up. We're going to watch for each individual bar. We want to see the bars go up. And then as soon as it makes a new low, like right here, this is exactly what we're going to watch for. A little shelf. I call those shelves. Okay, it's actually a flag. The market is flagging. And so we're going to look for the second flag and then the drop after that flag. So that's what we're going to look for here on Baxter. 
The next one is Cooper. So the Cooper companies. Now Cooper, actually Cooper's the third one. Let's skip Cooper and go right to Williams. Let's go to Williams. This one starts here today on the 14th. And it says it's supposed to be bearish as well. And it's also getting a little pullback, a little rally right here. We got a little rally today in the market. So we're getting a little rally, but this is very much more bearish looking than the other one. If we put our Fibonacci ruler in here and go from the low to the high, we would anticipate that this market coming in and maybe testing this previous high right up in here. So we got a little line in here, a little area of resistance. Of course, the area of resistance across the very high, but we would look forward to come up, maybe test that resistance, and then it's going to give us that little ABC pattern once again. So we go like this, ABC, and right in here, wherever that comes in, we would look for it then to drop and be bearish. Anyway, that's what it's done over the last, let me grab that and bring it over here for you. Williams, 80% of the time over the last 15 years. So this thing's been bearish during this time frame going into September 28th, so into the end of the month. So we'll look for this thing to, to break right here. And then at that point, once we get up in here and get a confirmation that this market wants to break, we'll look for the break and then the fall and we can buy a put option or we can take a short position. So that's two shorts. Uh, let's see. The last one is, is the one that comes out on the 20th, which is Cooper. So this is Cooper. This one looks very much more uh, straight into the downtrend market. We just broke this low right here. So be careful because when that happens, we'll oftentimes get a little re rebound. But uh, we could buy a put option on this one, maybe a little rebound. Who knows if we're going to get the rebound, but then the drop down. And that's what we would be looking for here on the Cooper Company. As it says in Trade Miner Cooper, it has done that uh, with Cooper. It has fallen in, in price 83% of the time over the last 12 years during this time frame. So there's a seasonal reason, some, fun, some fundamental reason why this market has a tendency to fall during this time of the year. And it looks like it's been on a big down, cascading downtrend right now. The only thing we'd have to ask or question is whether we're going to get a little bit of a pullback before we get the next leg down or if that's just going to be a straight shot, straight right on down. So this would be an ABC pattern here. We could come in with this ABC. This would be A, B, and then we'd look for it to come back a little bit maybe, and then come back out and then start to drop once again. So that's kind of what we're looking for. That's kind of what we're seeing on the three stocks from Trade Miner and how we would look at them in track and trade. If you have any questions, please let me know, and we'll see you next time.